Okay, thank you, Year 9. Thank you for considering photography as one of your pathway subjects in Year 10 and 11. Um, what does the course contain and what will I be marked on? Okay, photography it really does sum it up within the, the title. You are going to be taking your own photographs. Now, within these photographs, you will be taking some in school, but also you need to be committed to be taking some photographs outside of school. The things that you're going to be marked on, you're going to be developing ideas, investigations and looking at other artists. OK, um, within these artists, they could be fine artists, but mainly photographers. So perhaps a good knowledge of other photographers is a good thing to start researching already. Thinking about different things such as composition, lighting, how to use a, a digital camera successfully. Those things really do encompass that. Then you'll be thinking about refining your work, so making that better, looking at different materials, processes, different techniques to be taking photographs with, um, not just with a digital camera. So there are other techniques that we will be exploring. Also, AO3, you'll be recording your ideas. The main process of this will be taking photographs. So you need to make sure that you are committed to doing that inside school and outside school. Also, a good knowledge of perhaps your email is a good thing here so that you can email your photographs to yourself and then use those within your lesson, the ones that you've done for your independent learning. OK, um, some part of this recording does, however, fall under a little bit of drawing. Now, if you're considering art or photography as an option, um, really think about your drawing skill. You are going to be using drawing within photography, but not much. OK, only a little bit. Um, whereas if you're thinking, actually, I'm not sure whether to take art or photography and you're thinking I like drawing, painting more than perhaps art is for you. OK, but there will be small elements of drawing within the photography, but the main element of the recording will be your photographs. OK, your AO4, that is meaning that you are creating a final piece. So with all this art history, with all this refinement and with all these recording of ideas and taking your own photographs, you'll come up with a final piece that represents all of that. What can I expect from my lessons? You'll get one or two lessons weekly. So that depends what cycle you fall on. So perhaps it would be cycle one, you'd get one lesson a week. Cycle two, you'd get two lessons a week and so on and so forth. So that would rotate around. You need to be thinking about an hour's homework per week. And as I said previously, within that homework element, that will be taking some of your own photographs. So you need to make sure you've got access to something to do that. A mobile device is absolutely fine. But also with those photographs, you need to be able to use those within the classroom. So thinking about how you can email those over to yourself or even to your learning consultant as well. In terms of the course content, there is 60% coursework and 40% exam. The coursework will run from the very start of September in year 10, all the way up to Christmas in year 11. After Christmas, we get our exam paper and we work on that from the January right to the very end of the course. OK, I really hope photography is for you. Uh, other things I have to mention is a lot of the work that we do is based upon computers. Um, so just thinking about your computer skills, using Photoshop, things like that. So make sure you're familiar with those things or perhaps you would like to understand those in a little greater detail. OK, thank you very much for listening.